Hello everyone. Today I will try to explain usage of progressive delivery with Argo rollouts. I mean with Canary Way of course. Before starting I want to say all this flow which I will use right now I got from official page of Argo rollouts, official repository of Argo rollouts. And I think from my point of view it is best way to use their application to visualize all this stuff and to understand how it works. And you, we will see how we can simulate it and how we can troubleshoot it to understand where the points, uh, traffic from where it comes, where it's going with Istio 2. But I will not go in deep of Istio custom resource definitions to understand how it works because at least I think we must spend time on that to understand. From my point of view, we must learn good Istio if we will use this in production environment uh, with the uh, Argo Rollout to achieve progressive delivery, of course. Uh, let me show firstly manifest which I have used from official repository of Argo Rollout. Actually, it's cloned repo folder pass. I will not go in deep. So the main points which we, we must analyze and it's important point, it's virtual service YAML file, rollout itself, analysis and destination rule. So, in my case, I have used like as host, which I defined here for application Argo Rollouts with a name super freshly local. It's like as virtual host uh, of my application. It's domain which will, will be mapped to publication HTML folder. Actually, we can say this, and it's a service names, which is stable release, gets traffic one hundred percentage. Uh, which of course, a stable subset mapped to the destination rule and we can see in the right side destination rule even inside of official documentation we can get commented line here to see it is mapped so let me show this part two it's going to map to the destination rule subset name stable at the same time to canary right now for canary release even i i didn't deploy it to see but by default canary will be weight zero and stable with 100 and here Official documentation shows, of course, for each of the deployment, I mean for each of the ports of application, even if new release will come, by default it will be labeled like as Istio rollouts, but Argo rollout itself going to label again with the with the style. Let me show this part. Rollout port template hash value will be equal to hash of new port. Of course, I will sh show this part to understand too. And let me switch back to part rollout. Rollout, custom resource definition, it's almost deployment itself, but most important part here at strategy, which use Canary, and we are going to use, of course, analysis, which Argo rollout is going to compare at the deployment time results with the real traffic if it will not get response with 500 response codes of, of course it's template name i will show it right now it's argo loud official repo brings us already defined there this is this file i will go in deep and it's going to compare its argument part which will go inside of analysis we can find it here it's actually service name to analyze with a response code 500, we can understand here and compare if it will not get for predefined time iteration response code 500, it means everything is okay and I can increase the size from count which would which we defined before to for example 20 and wait 20 seconds. First time for first duration I defined here 180 seconds, it's three minutes because Firstly, we must collect metrics. It will take time with the parameters which Prometheus use, but even to show all the stuff, I need more time. That's why I defined 180 seconds. So let me switch back to part. Actually, it's arguments, traffic routing to virtual service, which was a name which defined here. We can find it. Routes primary way and destination rule, of course. We'll, we'll use roll, rollout destination rule and let me switch back to show this this one 
and with the name this rollout destination rule which will be used to subset scanner and stable and we have steps of course all this stuff we can configure more dynamically because in my case I've used official web I just changed this part with 180 seconds to show how it works and stimulate real traffic to, to see this so we can understand here it's going to set away 10% of traffic which will come to a new release of application wait 180 seconds try to compare from metrics of Prometheus if everything is, will, will be fine it will go to increase size to 20 wait 26 30 at the end and even we will see in real traffic in Istio itself with Kiala too. I will show all this stuff. Let me show. I, I, right now, I'm going to, of course, close this part. We can understand here we are going to get metric result of inside of Prometheus because uh, inside of Prometheus going to be collected with the name metric name. It's Istio request total even from Prometheus page. We can see history cost total with the values and get values. I will show all stuff in Kelly, of course, at the deployment time. I'm switching back to real deployment flow because I think with manifest files it will, it will be enough and yourself you can find in official page of our rewards too. And I'm going to switch back uh, to execute commands by some time of interval and see what's going on. In, in the left side here I'm going to say please go to get Argo rollouts with the name uh, Istio rollout, watch in real time inside of namespace Argo, uh, rollouts demo Istio. It will say of course right now it's not exist and in, in the right side I'm going to get read even inside of command I can show what I'm executing in right side here I mean. So I'm going to execute go to read virtual service with the name Istio rollout VSVC and get out with like as YAML and read last 10 lines because I need to see in real time how this side will be decreased and this size uh, this count will be in increased. Firstly it will be 10, 20, 30, we will see of course all this stuff in real time and in the downside I'm going to execute apply rollout object I need to firstly see which image will will deploy right now it's blue as we see I'm going to apply this blue inside of namespace rollout stem Istio. it is applied and in the left side if I will execute Watch again, we will see it's going to be processed. Nothing will be happened because it's first deployment and do that it will just get port to deploy one replica set because I didn't define more inside of rollout even. We can find here yeah, it's only going to deploy one replica. So right now I'm going to deploy a new version of application but before that, I want to show out of the port which deployed and how destination rule will go to set new label of application, how our rollout itself uh, will control traffic between new ports, of course. So I'm going to execute get ports minus n rollout with show labels. So as we see, we have labels are Istio rollouts. At the same time, new label set here like as rollout pod template with hash from pod itself so if i will bring new version of pod it will get this hash of new version of the pod and set here like as rollout pod template equal to this hash of course and all traffic will be controlled with this hash because for both of the pods of course will be the same label with istio rollout and this is the main point from where Argolos itself going to control traffic between them. So right now I'm going to check but when one main point I want to say if I will check change uh, image type from blue to yellow and apply it let me show this part yellow and apply it 
it will be failed because our application, which bring uh, brought inside of Kubernetes, it needs real traffic. But in case of rollout, real traffic will not be executed will, with load test. And do that, it's going the team of our rollout prepared application, which if you will open the application in real time, I mean, right now, if I will open their application, I, gen I created a domain name with superficial local, which if I will open this page, as we see, it's going to generate traffic to the port with a blue color. Of course, if I will do my minimize this one, real traffic will not be generated. So we can even in real time to see this one. If I will do logs as a port inside of namespace with this name in real time of course we can see it stopped but if I will return back as we see it is going to be generated it is stopped again because it is in already minimized but even if I will open again this one the traffic is going to be changed because I will keep it here right now so as we see seconds going to be changed so do that of course from time to time I will show when new release will come I'm going to keep this part in a total another monitor because I need to be generate new traffic at the deployment time so it works in, in total another monitor we, we don't see this part and right now I am going to deploy yellow version. Inside of the same namespace. And we must look at this part. So we can see new release of application came here with a name yellow, stable release blue, 10% here, and it is changed from zero to 10 decreased from 90 to 10. Even if I will open Istio itself, we can see in real time, after some seconds, two ports here, because showing, showing all the metrics, it will be changed, of course, we will see right now. As we see, of course, little time will be the difference between them. It shows us 7%. After some time, it will show for this new pod going 10% of traffic. For old one, it's 90% of traffic. If I will bring here the version which we deployed, as we see, most of the traffic going to blue, blue application, we can see here two color. In the first time, it was only one with blue. And yellow version inside of Kubernetes cluster right now too, but 10% of traffic going to inside of this application. Another 90 is going to, to be deployed at old version. And it's going to check and compare between me metrics. Of course, metrics going to Prometheus and Argo Rollout can, can use. You, you can find even from this page, let me switch to the next monitor, both of these pages, and show the main important part. This means Two times, it's called even three times right now. It, it gets answer from Prometheus with real traffic and everything is fine. That's why it will continue analysis run and to check it will be okay or not. But we can continue result after three minutes. I will not spend time do pause and return back after three, three minutes, of course, because I defined it. So I return back. We can see it's increased to 20. And I'm switching back, of course, even inside of virtual service, we can see 20. But I move this part here just to see all this flow in real time. It is 11%. After some time, we will see it's really 20 and 30 because metrics going to be calm inside of Istio, a little bit late than application itself. Even from here, we can see 
the count of the color of yellow more than before. After some time we will see more than of course before too. Right now 40% of traffic going to new version with the yellow color, 60% with the old one. So after 30 seconds it will be changed to 50. Even yeah it is 50 and even here we can see it's 50-50. We can see traffic going to be changed, even here to. So after one minute, we can definitely see all traffic will come to yellow application, and in the Istio visualization, we will see the application with color blue deleted, and all traffic comes to yellow version, of course. Yeah, we will see too. So. The application written by Argo Rolla team, Argo team actually, from my point of view, wonderful to test and understand all this flow because even we can generate error and see how analysis run will return back if it will get errors with 500. It's actually error place we, which we can control traffic to scale down to previous version. I mean, right now I will not do this because we must simulate and see all flow, how it works in Istio and Argolot. Right now, latest version, I mean yellow version, going to get 80%. And even in 90% right now, we can see from here. And after 30 seconds, it will be 100 to yellow version and zero to yeah zero to blue version as we see we don't have right now blue version of application so it will do scale down scale down blue version because right now it works with yellow version everything is fine and we, we can see from here only one pod will be present and it will get 100% of the traffic, of course. So, we can see uh, it's going to scale down and terminating pod. And even from here, it switched traffic between them. Right now, stable release is yellow one. And just if we wait some time, oh, I must to keep it in real time, in the left side. It is scaled down as we see. And it's done. Only one pod present right now with the yellow color. And that's it actually. We tested everything. We visualized real application with the colors, visualized with Istio and so how Arbor Louds helps us with progressive delivery. I hope it will be useful. Thank you for watching.